Okay, so guess what, everyone? It happened again. Oh my God, I'm so done with this shit. So I'm going to show you this, and you're, and I'm going to explain it to you in just a second. So what we have here is a claim that was just filed today by Bondi against Code Geass R2, a video I uploaded years ago. I think it was 2013, years ago. Now, let me explain to you, this is not a strike, but I'm going to tell you why this is going to fuck us. So for those of you unfamiliar, the process for claiming a vi for uh, um, countering a claim is you file you file an appeal, and that goes to Bondi. And what do you think they've done every single time with us and probably everyone else? I'll tell you what they fucking do. They deny it. So then you file another one, and they have the choice of, hmm, this time maybe we were wrong, or fuck you, the video's taken down and you get a strike. After that, you have to file a counter notification that tells them, fuck you, we're keeping this video up, and they have 10 days to provide YouTube with evidence of legal action against you, which they never do. Now, to explain to you why at that point we are fucked, I will tell you what they did last time with the Gurren Lagan video that maybe I didn't make clear on the community tab. So what they did was they let the strike expire because they have to reply within 10 days. They let it expire and it expired at like, I don't know, 5.30 in the morning while I was still asleep. When I woke up, literally... 20 some minutes later, they filed a takedown notice against the same video. Now, you may wonder, why does that matter? Can't you just file another counter notification? No. You see, once you deal with a copyright strike from a single source that has claimed your video, once, you're done. That's it. You can't do it again. You can't appeal a, ca a claim that doesn't exist, right? Well, here's the thing. There's a difference between a copyright claim and a takedown notice. They are separate things in YouTube's system. So Bondi files this bullshit copyright claim, blocks it. Not even all of the just block it. And I appeal their shit. They don't respond to the appeal. And then what happens? They do this. They wait for this all to go away, and then they file a takedown notice, and I can't appeal that takedown notice at all in any way, and it's over. The video is permanently taken down, and we have a copyright strike. So what is going to happen now is we have multiple claims being appealed on our YouTube channel right now. If I try to fight this, and it goes to that extent, we will get a strike and they will abuse YouTube's system again, and they will t and we will have two strikes. And then, if by some chance, read, Bondi are assholes, so this will probably happen. If we upload another video, and it gets blocked worldwide, like Samurai Shampoo, the episode that was supposed to go up today, um, and it's blocked worldwide which is not going to be done by Funimation, it's going to be done by Bondi, then we have, we have a couple options, right? We can just go back and edit the video until it passes YouTube's content ID. Oh, wait a fucking second, because when we uploaded Gurren Lagan, it beat the content ID, and then several weeks later, Bondi manually found it and claimed it. Just like they just did with Code Geass, a video that has been up for years. Five or six years now on YouTube. So, at this point, what I'm doing right now this morning is, I'm making our BitChute channel, and I'm up starting to upload videos to it. So, pay attention, I'm going to make a post later today, linking the new BitChute channel, and... We're probably going to start advancing videos there. And then on Monday, I'm going to attempt to upload the Samurai Shampoo video. And we'll kind of see 
where that tracks to. But for now, this is an update just to let you guys know what the hell is happening and why things are just kind of spiraling out of control. Because they're being targeted by an asshole Japanese company that just thinks they get to do whatever the hell they want and blow up channels like ours because we don't have we don't have the reach to actually bring enough attention to it that someone will notice and fucking do something or say something. We don't have the ability to raise enough awareness. So we're just going to have to go another route. And uh, I guess just stay tuned. Check out, keep, uh, see the community tab. For some reason, you can't have that as a notification when somebody posts something in the community tab for the YouTube channel that you're subscribed to and have activated all notifications for because YouTube is a flawless platform. But yeah, keep an eye out. I just want to tell you guys up front in a video what is going on. So I apologize again. It's kind of out of our hands. Have a good day. We'll see you down the line.